Well, we're in Charleston, South Carolina. We're about to do a flow test on a pipeline that was installed in 1922. This was the first pipeline to be provided with a cement mortar lining, uh, which is uh, intended to protect the pipe from internal corrosion, but it also improves the hydraulic uh, characteristics of the pipeline. We've tested this, uh, this pipeline. This will be the fourth test that we've done. And basically what we're doing is we're using the Hazen-Williams equation, which is used to model the flow of water through uh, pipelines everywhere. And we're going to measure head loss between two points along this pipeline. And we're going to calculate what the Hazen-Williams C factor is. Uh, the last three times we've measured it, we've gotten C factors of 130, 131, and 130. So we expect similar numbers this time when we, when we do the test, and if we do, it's a demonstration of the effectiveness of cement mortar linings and the longevity of the lining in protecting the pipe and providing a good hydraulic profile. And to run this test, the first thing we got to do is we got to measure the actual inside diameter of the pipe, which is what this, uh, this caliper does. It'll uh, bottom out when it hits the bottom of the pipe, and then they'll pull it up and this will engage the top of the pipe and then they can measure uh, the difference. And having the actual inside diameter lets us accurately calculate the uh, velocity of flow and then we'll be able to uh, back into the Hazen Williams C factor. So what we're doing right now is we're inserting a pedal rod into the water main. The purpose of doing that is to measure the velocity through the pipe during the test. After he gets it inserted and we get everything measured up, he's going to we're going to take velocity measurements at different points within the pipe and from that we'll get an average velocity across the pipe which enables us to get the average mean velocity which is what we need for this test all right so here's what we're doing we are measuring the velocity profile i'm going to call out different measurements and my technician is going to move the rod to take velocity measurements at different points once the rod is in each position we record data for 30 to 40 seconds and then later on we'll compile all of that data and that will give us uh, the information we need to calculate the velocity factor. All right, we're going. This is the most fascinating part of this type of testing. This is where we compute the velocity profile that makes everything accurate. Seven and an eight. Seven, one, eight. So we measure the velocity at different points within the pipe and then we download the data and then we use that data to compute the average velocity across the pipe. It's kind of like a correction factor. It enables us to get flow measurement readings within plus or minus a percent or two. It's very accurate and that's what we need for this type of testing. So that's what he's doing right now is he's downloading the data and processing the velocity measurements uh, while we concurrently do a test. We're actually running our first test right now. All right, we've completed our test today. Uh, we use these tests to evaluate the C factors that we get in the field and actual uh, pipelines. So the recommendation that our industry makes of the C factor of 140 is the average of all of the in situ tests that we've done over the years. Uh, the results we got here today were, were excellent. This is a 97 year old pipeline, the first ever to be provided with a cement mortar lining in the United States. And the results indicate that the cement mortar lining is doing its job. It's protecting the pipe from internal corrosion. It provides a, a, a better hydraulic profile for the water flowing through the pipe, which saves energy uh, when you're pumping water through it. And after 97 years, it's showing that the hydraulic profile is maintaining its good characteristics, protecting the pipe and keeping the, the water flowing very smoothly through the pipe. The results we got today were, were very, uh, very good results. We do, we do have a lot to gain over here because we have a close relation with DIPRA. DIPRA provides the expertise we need for our day-to-day -day operations and planning for the future. And this also give us a verification what condition of our main is. And this particular main installed in 1922. And glad to know uh, after this testing, main is in good condition. 
and uh, provides a good condition assessment so we don't have to spend the money and we can uh, still uh, utilize this main for extended period of time. Mm -hmm. So, and also we always thank DEPRA for providing us a training and uh, all the health or technical questions we ever have, the answer for us.